Ah, that's horrible. That thin shot that shoots across the green takes your confidence away and now I've got another chip shot. So how does it happen and what can we do about it? Well, ultimately, it really comes from too much tension. Often golfers take too long with their shots around the green. If you're standing over the chip shot for too long, the tension will build in your hands, it will go through to your arms and your shoulders, and then you don't have the rhythm in your chipping that you need. Like any other shot in golf, the more rhythm you have, the better the timing will be, the easier it always is for you to play. So here's an exercise drill I'd like you to go through to get that rhythm and the idea of a tension-free shot. Simply imagine you throwing a ball here. If I had the ball down on the ground, I said walk up and in one flowing motion, pick it up and throw it to the target. There'd be no tension in it and you'd probably judge the distance actually very well. Practice that a few times, then simply imagine that the club head represents your hand. And imagine that you're coming from behind the ball here, walking in, putting the club head down as if it's your hand on the ground, picking the ball up and throwing it. If you can do that, you'll certainly feel like you're going a lot quicker, which is not necessarily the aim, but you'll feel like you're flowing, and that is the aim. And when you're flowing, you'll be tension free. Let me show you. So back here, I've imagined I've thrown it as a practice. You often see tour players doing this to get a feel for their shots. Walk in, imagine the carpet is your hand, no hesitation, go ahead and swing. And straight away I can throw that ball with the club head towards that target. All the tension has gone out of my hands and arms. Much better rhythm in the swing, much better results. In summary, point one, don't stand still over the ball for too long. Point two, imagine you're throwing the ball. And point three, keep your routine flowing.